Well, stop me if you've heard this one before. Alabama lawmakers once again have gambling on the legislative agenda this year. Our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, live at Mobile Greyhound Park. Brendan, what makes supporters think this year is going to be different? Yeah, well, Lynn East and Byron, what's that old saying? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, nobody's making any bold predictions here, but supporters are hoping for a breakthrough. Gambling supporters got closer to the finish line last year than they have in a long time. A bill passed the Senate to create a state lottery and gambling casinos, but it fell apart in the State House of Representatives. State Senator Greg Albritton, a Republican who represents parts of Baldwin County and four other counties, says he plans to introduce gaming legislation again. Last year's proposal drew criticism over its designation of specific locations for casinos. Some parts of the state felt cut out. The biggest the stumbling block we had last year was the aspect of picking and choosing, uh, uh, telling folks uh, who's going to shut down and who is uh, where you can and where you can't, and we're only going to do this and do that. Um, that, that created more obstacles than, than we needed to have. All Britain says the latest plan is a two-tier approach. First, lawmakers would create a commission to regulate gambling that already exists. Then, voters would get a chance in November to approve a constitutional amendment allowing a wide range of gambling. Everything from a statewide lottery to sports betting to slot machines and other casino games. Applicants would have to get approval from the Gaming Commission and from the local county commission. All Britain says that would be a safeguard for areas that don't want gambling. This week, the Alabama Track Owners Association started running an ad state wide comparing the tax and jobs impact of gambling to an auto plant. Instead of giving away $700 million in tax incentives, the ad claims, the state could generate that much every year and create 12,000 jobs. The equivalent of three auto manufacturing plants if they just let us vote on a gaming and lottery bill this November. Robert Kennedy Jr., a spokesman for the association, which includes Mobile Greyhound Park, says the group favors locating casinos at the existing race tracks, but he says the track owners are open to discussion. There may end up being some compromises that are not necessarily things that we advocate, uh, but ultimately the decision should reside in the hands of the people. Now, as for how much money all this could generate, Senator Albritton says it could be as high as $800 million, and he's proposing that that be directed towards improving the state's mental health services. Reporting live from Theodore, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.